Hi, I'm Frank Cosgrave here from Futuristic Polar Bears. Uh, we live uh, northwest uh, in top of England, um, right beside the seaside, a place called Lidham. And the reason I like this is I love going for a run on the beach pretty much every day. It really gets me in, getting me in a good place to make tunes. Um, inspirations for music really. I went to my first rave when I was 14 in Ireland and uh, it was crazy. I just absolutely loved the music and I loved the whole vibe and ever since then I've just I've just been taken in it. I had my first nightclub when I was 16 and uh, I've been DJing pretty much ever since. I think kind of early influences, I used to love like Carl Cox and Billy Nasty and kind of like slightly along kind of tech, early techno-ish routes but uh, kind of led me along now. Obviously our influences have changed all the time now so they're always growing but uh, which is an amazing thing as house music is always progressing. Uh, I think the most memorable DJ gig in the last couple of years would have been uh, when we were playing in Lush in Northern Ireland. Uh, we were meant to play on the Sunday and it was really bad snow and the plane was delayed and we got there late and uh, we missed the gig and the club asked us if we'd hang on for a few days and stay at the hotel which we did and uh, we ended up playing the um, day before Christmas Eve and it was amazing we played about a six seven hour set um, and from the minute the doors opened it just filled up and the first half an hour it must have been like 1,500 people in and they stayed in the whole night it was just an electric atmosphere um, yeah really really good great club lush like little second home for us Uh, iPod music with me, it's a strange one, I have a lot of classical music on there and uh, a lot of motivational CDs and stuff that I listen to when I'm running. Um, I listen to a couple of podcasts as well, I like listening to uh, like Mark Knight's podcast as well, listen to the new tunes coming up. Um, stuff like that, I don't tend to listen to, I don't tend to listen to our own music all the time, I just I like to take time in my iPod for, for learning and getting inspiration from other stuff. Um, my current favourite gear for the studio, I think I've got two uh, Slate Digital and Ozone 5 and I think uh, Slate Digital is just can give you that amazing sound that can really push the sound at the end without going into distortion and make it really loud and the same with Ozone 5, it just has great mastering settings on it and stuff that we really like using really adds a, an amazing shine to, to the end of your mix for mastering so that would be them Uh, advice I give to people starting the music industry is know why you're doing it and do it for the love of music because it's very very hard to uh, make money and you don't even have any illusions and when you start off start off with a plan learn how to use the software um, the most important thing I think about an artist now is being able to produce music and, and um, the best way to learn how to do that is just start early and keep sticking at it um, Watch loads of tutorials on the internet, they're everywhere now, you can be found and read as much as you can about it. And experiment with a lot of stuff as well because you'll find you'll sit into something that sits well with you and resonates with you. And, uh, and always just remember, do, remember what you do, you do it because you love the music.